imagine a man going through uh, a very confused state where he's so curious that he wrote to us asking that how would you approach an issue where you are discussing with your wife at home in your bedroom at night having a nice time gisting and laughing and all that and all of a sudden the phone rings and she hurriedly picks up the phone cuts the call and deletes the missed call or the the, the call that just came in and mm. not just once not twice but a regular thing then some other cases uh she would cut the call and feign or fake answering of a call like she's speaking with a female relative and most times it's when she has to fake the response to that fake call it's usually a female relative all right that is the narrative then other cases when she wants to go to bed at night she virtually either puts the phone on silent mode or hides the phone all right only god knows where she hides maybe under a pillow or in a drawer or somewhere but the phone is is not accessible you know all this curiosity has made the husband so so concerned he's not saying that he's suspecting her but this actually calls for suspicion what would you make out of this is she up to something is this something good does he have any right to worry or be concerned or probably he's just overreacting let me know what you think in the comment section i'll be right back welcome now this is share it with noble on noble tv live and shared with noble is basically a program where we discuss real life family issues that affects us on a daily basis and we don't disclose the names of uh, people who write to us asking for solutions for pregnancy uh, concerns now on set with me today to address the story i earlier shared with you is mr okay he corrected me earlier comrade uh, augustino milo you're welcome sir thank you very much and mrs victoria chukura all right these are familiar faces who have actually helped us to address some issues so very quickly uh comrade augustino milo what is your take on this man's predicament or his concern yes another correction you can call me mr i was only correcting uh, Mrs. Okay. Chukura. okay i can call you mr <laughs> yes. okay yes <laughs> because i'm not a comrade. <laughs> yes. Okay. yes yes right. no you see there are so many funny things on this earth and i think that is why we should all all the time be striving to live because on daily basis you see things that make you happy or sad or something yeah yeah for me what the man is even complaining about is neither here nor there because uh yes the the woman calls the call and maybe deletes the 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 number from the call log now the man is uh, maybe something is uh, amiss because something is wrong already somewhere otherwise the man will not be suspecting that uh, the woman is doing whatever he thinks in his heart that the woman is doing because one does he normally take the phone of the woman to check whether the call is actually deleted or he just assumes from his mind that the woman has actually deleted the number okay that's on the part of the the, the man now then on the part of the woman also is there anything that she's so afraid about the husband that she doesn't want to reveal you know there are some persons you know you want to be uh, open to them for example you say ah uh, baba sunday or honey or whatever it is see so somebody is just calling me worrying me about uh, money all the time he keeps calling me for money mm -hmm. it's not the man to actually understand mm -hmm. why the woman is feeling like that you might say ah mm -hmm. so you get yeah, money mm -hmm. and if uh, you see now mm. why so, so there are some of all those uh, uh, things that happen to people mm. why they react the way yeah, they are right reacting so. so for me the man should bother himself more on the fact that uh, yes they are on the same bed mm. himself and the wife now which means the woman is also like um still relates to him as his wife oh, yeah. you know and uh, they are still discussing so if for any reason she discusses with anybody outside mm and uh, she doesn't want to tell me or tell him that he's got some somebody outside for any reason it's also for me it amounts to respect because if she was so bold to say what is your problem mm. there's a man who is after me after all you if i say give me money you don't give me money and mm. if somebody wants to give me money now you are talking about you know there are some persons who will say it yeah yes. after all, what i have belongs to me mm. so if i share with anybody what is your what concern business. are you the one that gave me mm. suppose the woman tells you like that mm. it brings more problems so for me the man should just face the yeah, woman so. as um, he's working with her until mm. there's evidence that otherwise is uh, happening 
Okay, so Mrs. Bichara, what's, what's your take on this? I agree with uh, Mr. Omilio. The man should stop uh, bothering himself over what is and what is not. Because in the process of bothering now, he, will, uh, he may go and get BP. And from BP, something else might happen. I think the woman is uh, respectful for cutting the call, you know, that promptly like that when they call. She doesn't want to holler. And I, I want to believe that the call is even unnecessary you know based on the fact that they are together and the calls come in and she quickly rushed to the and cut it off and call that is it's not okay, it's, now, it's not a call that yeah. she, she will dwell in and she doesn't want to distract the husband she doesn't want even want the man to even dwell on it too i don't think it's an issue no but now let's let's be let's be factual mm. let's be factual you know if the man was doing this same thing mm. the woman would Jump to conclusions and have insinuations about hey. what could be hiding. Hey. Do you understand? Hey. Now, now also, it's not in Africa's custom. Mm. It's not in Africans' normal tradition for women to be secretive. One, for women to keep any information away from their husband, irrespective of um, uh, how mm. how educated they are mm. because the man seems to want to know every single detail he wants to be in the know and it's also very disrespectful in our african society when you now have to hide your phone before going to bed it's it's it gives you for suspicion because you are what are you hiding the phone for my own phone as the man is right here you are the woman who's meant to be more transparent because that is the environment we, we, we actually are Woman is more transparent. Man, the man has more secrets than the woman. That's how the tradition has placed it. Now, my phone is right here. Yours is hiding somewhere. I don't even know. Then number two, every single time calls come in, whether at daytime or at night, the one particular call that comes in, you cut the call and then you you do something on your phone, whether you are deleting or you are replying the person back and everything. It brings suspicion. Then the worst part of is is when she now has to fake responding to a particular call meanwhile probably when she's taking a call you can hear some um some yes, speaker no. some part of the, the caller mm. on the speaker but when she's faking that particular call there's no audio from the speaker and she's acting like she's talking to her cousin mm. female cousin or her younger sister or elder sister or her mom always she's always relating to the female narrative mm. no these are these i think the man has every right to be to be Worried, and I don't think his um, his uh, his concern is being blown out of proportion. Mm. Seeing the environment we are in, what is not it is a Western world. You could have that ground, and also I still want to throw it towards that. We don't have the picture of the narrative that she's independent or the man is not doing well mm. enough for her and all that. There's a concern that he's insecure at the moment yeah. because of her actions. How does he come out of that insecurity? Because if the insecurity grows, it might affect their relationship. And that very respect that she thinks, thinks she's giving mm -hmm. to him, or whatever she's avoiding from erupting, might be beyond control by that time. By the time she says, this is what I'm trying to protect you from, but it's too late. Yeah. So how would we, how would we see from that perspective? So she doesn't just feel like uh, the ball is, he, he doesn't feel disadvantaged that she has all the cards. He should just go to bed. The man can. Oh, 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 some, um, the man should summon courage to ask her. Yeah. Since he's bothering, he's beginning to bother him. Yeah. He should. He's the man of the house. There's no need dwelling on it. Just call her straight. And the, the woman is his wife. Yeah. That he married legally. Then he has right over her. Whatever it is that he is thinking, the whatever it is that the call is making him feel, or how the call is making him feel at that particular time, or making the marriage look like, he should call the woman. And ask her, and even insist. I want to see that number. Anyhow, anything, whatever will come out of it. He wants results. He wants to know. So the best way to do it is to ask the woman. Yeah, Mr. Um, uh, yes, Mr. I think I agree with that because uh, if uh, you you actually mm. feeling yeah. uh, in any it's manner true. that uh, mm. you you are insecure or something, because after mm. all. I agree with you. Maybe the cause, the cause may be coming mm. from people who are threatening the family. Mm. Even may not necessarily be lovers as it were. Yeah. 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 So on a good day, not when you are angry, because mm. sometimes you don't solve problems by being angry. Oh, yeah. So when you are relaxed, say, "Come on." The other day, I noticed somebody called you, mm. and you cut off the line immediately. 
And another time, kind of, so what's the problem? Why do you, you have no, to? No, you have to call So I hear from the, the, the lady, woman. Maybe yeah. I hear from blackmail the yes. or something. It yes. not even be blackmail. You know, sometimes we have these kind, these friends that you chat with and everything. We maybe sometimes we do it in the office. We just say, mm, you do, I know this woman will do with your husband now. Yes. Let me distract her. Yes. You know uh, that kind okay. of that kind of call. Mm. Uh -huh. We do that to, just to taunt. And mm. the moment you see, she will understand that that is what we want to know. Yeah. When you do with a guy, that, that is just one possibility. Uh -huh. yeah. But I believe from so. the man's perspective, he wouldn't be concerned mm. if he didn't see the reaction of the woman's face. Yes. If it's a friend trying to taunt, mm. he could do that and smile. But when it's the, the you know, there's a perception mm. that you could tell from when someone that is that is suffering from serious unrest yes. in her spirit mm. because of the call the call that's Let coming the man in. Ask yeah, so her. I think it's beyond just uh, maybe a Let the man call. ask her. Yeah, the man should ask, uh, the man. She should so ask what's her. the problem? Why do you have uh, to talk why, to uh, so like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's this person that calls you almost the same time, maybe one want to gist or one want to relax. I'm not having a good time with each other. This so call just comes in. You shouldn't explore the options of uh, uh, 21st, 21st century ways of hacking into someone's phone and following up. Or no, so she has the number that, that, from the call log now. No, no, no. Uh, the, only, the only way the man, can, the man can explore that is that one, he should exercise restraint. Pretend as if you are not seeing anything. So that the man will not rush to delete. The call because the moment that number leaves the call log, you can't trace it. Uh, but the human, the first human. century ways of monitoring SMSs, uh, WhatsApps, and calls. Uh, that's with the man. Yeah. Yeah, it's not your phone, but uh, you can have access to the details having that person's phone yeah. with uh -huh. modern technology. Okay, that's if the man. Yeah, if, if the man should not account. explore that if, angle. Yeah. Yeah, if you want so, to, okay, let me just get the number or hear the conversation or all that. Uh -huh. yeah. He should uh, maybe he should at that particular time that he knows that call will come in. That means he will not ask the woman immediately. He will just gradually, tactically, diplomatically begin to assess. Maybe he should give himself like a month to see how that calls how frequent. How frequent, the timing, and how she reacted. The man should just be noting it. Then after maybe some time that he will give to himself, he will now call the woman and say, yeah, see just... what give be specific. Give her the timing the hour how she reacted what she was even putting on and how she dived to maybe the toilet or wherever oh. and no then lay the car who mm -hmm. is this person calmly and sweetly too so okay. that to give her that confidence to express herself if it's somebody that has been intimidating her or mm. somebody that has been playing pranks or somebody that has been here she will now be free She'll be free okay. to explain to Samuel, him. one final word, please. Yes, uh, the final word is that, uh, yes, she may delete the edition from her call log, but it's not deleted from the server. Uh, so that, uh, But you, if you want to begin that kind of investigation, it means you are ready for anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you may discover now that actually your wife has been calling somebody who has been dating her. Mm -hmm. And therefore, yeah, when yeah. you start to make that such kind of investigation, so if you find, you make up your mind, if you mm -hmm. find out that actually it was somebody dating her, mm -hmm. then what are you going to like do? That. So you are not just going to, so you must be ready, <laughs> because if you want to do that now, you, be can, hot. Yes, you can <laughs> see the, uh, the, the attention of the police who will now help you to mm -hmm. deal between the uh, service the provider. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. So you go to that place, get the, the call log of your wife, mm -hmm. and begin to make investigations on who have been calling her and for mm -hmm. what. So by the time you discover that actually a man has been dating mm -hmm. her, then what do you want to do? So you want to sack your wife? So if you have made up mm -hmm. your mind that if you discover that somebody will sack her, so go ahead. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you can just uh, take it easy by finding out from her. Let her tell you mm -hmm. even lies. And the lies is going to tell you, hold it first yeah. before you start your investigation. Let it come from her. Yeah, so that, well, you, can now, so that right. you have something to hold on to. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's thank you very much. Uh, You've heard from our, our, our guest here on set. Please, for kindness, just take your time, study the pattern. Like Mrs. Victoria said, study the pattern, get your, your evidences, all right? Then make up your mind, like Mr. Miller said, that you are ready for whatever you okay, find yeah. during your investigation, mm -hmm. all right? But confront her mm. that's the bottom line you have to speak out mm. you don't have to keep it to yourself and say mm. you're studying mm. she's she's not a, a specimen she's your <laughs> wife so you should mm. you should be the man of the house and ask questions yeah all right so study the pattern make your inquiries get your facts right see get new life evidences yes. then you can now know how to 
approach the issue from a diplomatic point yes, of view. Sure, all right, be diplomatic, be civil. Mm. All right, you approach. You don't approach it when you're angry, mm. so that when you get a wrong negative response, you don't uh, lose it mm. and regret your actions afterwards. Yes. Please kindly drop your comments mm. in the comment section if you have suggestions or uh, similar issues that you've learned from past experiences that would help mm. this gentleman. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and click on the notification button for similar prompt updates. My name is Valentine Agogo and this has been Share It With Noble. Thank you.